You gotta take control. Life's too short. Get out of your head. Make a better life instead. You gotta give it all your best. So put your hands up to the sky and live your best life. All right, don't just let it go by. Just try. Oh my, got only one life. Got only this time. We gonna get it right. You gotta let go of those who don't belong in your tribe. So cut the bad out of your life. Hey guys, what's going on? I know it's been a few days since I made another video, but it's your boy, Jedi Joey, talking about some Marvel news today. So I'll be doing a podcast later today with my friend Connor at NP Productions, and we'll be doing, um, we'll be talking about all things Marvel, specifically with the new Captain America trailer that came out, and I will have a breakdown for you guys later today about said Captain America trailer, because I know it's been a while since I've done full-on trailer breakdowns where I just show the footage from the trailer and then do voiceover. So, we'll do that later today. There will also be many other videos to look forward to. But, what we are here to talk about, since we're talking Marvel, is we're, we know that we're probably going to get Secret Wars and, and Avengers 5 delayed a little bit because they're working on figuring out what their story is going to be. But, whenever those movies come, I think it needs to be said that We've always said that Hugh Jackman would be with us for Deadpool and Wolverine when he signed on, but no actor signs on just for one movie in Marvel. He signed on for multiple. And what's interesting is a lot of people thought, okay, he'll be in Avengers, he'll be in, he'll be in Deadpool and Wolverine, then he'll be in probably Secret Wars, and then he'll probably hang it up, and they'll start the new universe and we'll get a young Wolverine. I think we might be waiting a long time for young Wolverine, however young he ends up being, like Deadpool says, we, got, we need them young enough to carry the franchise for 10 to 14 years. Because I think it might be a while before we get the next Wolverine. And here's why. Ryan Reynolds' Deadpool has said himself, there is nobody more, more Wolverine than Hugh Jackman. And I, we now know after several interviews with Deadpool and Wolverine that Hugh Jackman loved playing Wolverine in this movie more than he's played Wolverine in the Fox and, and so happy playing the character and I think he'll stick around for a long time and one of the things that needs to be addressed with this is the fact that he he himself has said that he wanted to do Secret Wars but only if he would get to bring um, Toby um, to, only if he got to be with Toby and, and Robert Downey Jr.'s Iron Man so he wants to be with Spider-Man and Iron Man which makes sense because Wolverine in the comics has great um, camaraderie and connections and chemistry with those characters. So I'm excited to see him team up with Toby. In fact, I'm going to throw a wild left field thing out there for you guys. I think we might even see Toby in Deadpool and Wolverine. You're probably like, what? Toby in Deadpool and Wolverine? But how? It's owned by Sony. Yeah, but after No Way Home the M in the MCU, they make deals with Sony. Everything's fair game now. And I think it's possible we could see him. I also think there's a chance that we could see um, we could see Iron Man cameo as well, but we'll have to see. But so what, what this means in this video that we're talking about, guys, is so Hugh Jackman is sounding like he's going, according to this new report from Daniel RPK, Hugh Jackman is sticking around for movies longer than just Secret Wars, longer than just Deadpool and Wolverine. It's confirmed that he's going to be sticking around for a while. And so that means that he's going to be Wolverine probably even longer than we could have expected. And so in the new phase of this MCU reboot they keep talking about, I don't think you're going to have recast actors. I think you're going to get our old actors just coming into fruition for this reboot. So, like, when you get Iron Man next time after Secret Wars, he's going to be Robert Downey Jr. When you see Captain America, Steve Rogers' Captain America, it's going to be Chris Evans again. If Scarlett Johansson comes back as Black Widow, 
she'll be Black Widow. You know, Jeremy Renner will be Hawkeye. It's it's gonna work like that, and I think that's kind of where they're going with this, which is I think is pretty exciting. I know some be like, oh, I don't want old dudes playing my superheroes. I'm like, no, man, it's gonna be great. These are legends, and we should treat them like that. But so the big thing with this video is just Hugh Jackman sticking around, and I want to speculate on what projects he is sticking around for. So, okay, he's doing Deadpool Wolverine, having a blast. It's going to be awesome. We're seeing it next week. Can't wait. It's easily my most anticipated movie of the year. And how could it not? But then, coming in at number number two, you got to realize, you know, obviously Secret Wars is coming, but Avengers 5 is coming first. And Kevin Feige was so impressed by Ryan and and, and Hugh, he wanted him in, the, in, in, in Avengers 5. So I think Wolverine and Deadpool are definitely in Avengers 5. They're definitely going to be in Secret Wars. And so then you're like, okay, so so he's in Deadpool Wolverine. He's in, um, he's going to be in, um, in Avengers 5, in Secret Wars. So what else is he in? Well, San Diego Comic-Con is right around the corner. And I don't know if this will be after the MCU reboot or if this will be before. I kind of think that to build up things, it might be before just because they want something before Avengers 5 and Aven Avengers Secret Wars to get people excited on an Avengers level. And so what I'm, what I'm thinking, guys, is I plan on making an individual video about this project, and I think I'll still make one later today because we're going to talk about it. I have, sus I have believed after seeing some reports that many Fox X-Men characters will join the MCU and reprise their roles more than just Deadpool and Wolverine. Meaning that they won't just be cameos. They'll continue. And these are characters like Holly Berry Storm. I think um, even the likes of, like, we know that Shane Tatum's Gambit will be in the Fox universe. I think that's a likely one. I also think we know with Beast coming in, in the Marvels, that's another one. Obviously Hugh Jackman Wolverine. And James Marston Cyclops. Cyclops is a big character after X-Men 97. I think he deserves the very best. So I think we could see these characters, maybe even Nightcrawler, some of the other Fox X-Men, maybe the younger version of Magneto by Michael Fassbender. We just have to wait and see what we get here. But the reason I mentioned this, we do know that Patrick Stewart is re returning as Charles Xavier in Deadpool and Wolverine. Can't wait to see him. Can't wait to see how Deadpool reacts, considering McAvoy and Stewart. All these timelines are so confusing, right? So, so we're going to have to wait and see what happens. But what I will say is, this movie that I think that they're talking about, other than whatever Marvel movies come on in the next phase, is, so you got, we're going to get Deadpool and Wolverine. We're going to get Avengers 5. We're going to get Secret Wars. You might be asking, what comes next? Well, like I said, San Diego Comic-Con is mere weeks away. I think it's even next week. And what I'll tell you guys is we know they're having a big one-hour production in Hall H. And look, I've been in Hall H for DC projects, and I'll tell you, it, when, when a studio of movies is in Hall H, they do not hold back. You are going to get something massive. The last time Marvel was in Hall H and went this hard was when they announced that, that Captain America 3 was going to be Secret War, or not Secret Wars, it was going to be Civil War instead of Serpent Society, which was the previous rumored title. So, yeah, um, they, they go hard. And you might be thinking, like, oh, you know, we, we have announcements coming, like, you know, we're finally getting a new Blade director, finally get that movie on track, that would be great. What announcement would make fans that go to San Diego Comic-Con lose their shit because Marvel hasn't been at Comic-Con in a long time? Well, there's only one that I can think of that people would lose their minds, especially on the brink of Deadpool and Wolverine and fans who have already seen it. And that is, guys, I have said this for a while after hearing reports of it, I think before the new, before we get new members of the X-Men, maybe in a reboot in the future, the first thing Kevin Feige wants to do with the X-Men is he wants to do what he couldn't do in Civil War. He wants to give us Avengers versus X-Men. And it's not going to be like, oh, Avengers and X-Men a little bit in Secret Wars, just kind of as a segment of the movie, even if it's three hours, or Avengers versus X-Men in this. Civil War was its own movie dealing with Captain America versus Iron Man. This would be an entire, like, Civil War level movie, but... It'd be bigger than Civil War because there'd be even more characters. Because we're talking the two biggest teams other than Fantastic Four and Marvel. The Avengers versus the X-Men. And so you might be asking, what, what, what's the storyline? What's, what's the roster look like? Well, we'll talk about more about this in another video. But what I'm saying is here, 
Hugh Jackman signed up for more. He wants to fight Iron Man, bro. He he wants to be Wolverine in that yellow suit. Not just for Deadpool Wolverine. Not just to beat Kang's ass. Not just to fight Doom. But he wants to be there to freaking go toe to toe with with good old Shellhead. The golden red versus the blue and, and yellow. Oh, I can't wait. Like Hawk says, oh, yeah, it is on. Yeah. Like, like, come on. Like, this is too good to be true. Like, I mean, imagine the roster. You know, Cyclops is there fighting Captain America. They're all there. Avengers vs. X-Men announced at San Diego Comic-Con. Mark my words. Like, I'm telling you guys. Like, and like, like Tony Stark says, and I'm about to put this in my video later. Good to be back in the MCU. Oh, it's good to be back. So, let me know what you guys think about this. Are you guys excited to see Hugh Jackman stick around in the MCU more? I'm excited for more Wolverine adventures. The man is Wolverine in my opinion. And I can't wait to see him play Wolverine in even more movies and possibly shows. Let me know your thoughts and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Wow.